Hey guys, it's Double Wide Six, and today I'm working on a Craftsman snow blower. It's a 5 horsepower, 24 inch blower, and it has an interesting problem. Uh, I'll play the video here so you can see what it's doing. Keep in mind the snow is really wet and icy, that's why it's not coming out to shoot. But you'll notice that it's piling in front of the right hand side in the video, it's pushing snow out of the auger. If you look closely at the auger, you can see how the blades on the left hand side are pointing in towards the impeller and on the right hand side they're bringing the snow away from the impeller. This snow blower, according to the guy I got it from that I actually know, it came from the factory this way and he's always had problems with it. So uh, by looking at it I could tell that the right side auger is th the same as the left side they're the same part number but they're supposed to be different parts I'll show you another blower show you what I'm talking about you can clearly see with this snow blower this one's an atlas but you see how this is angled this way so it's gonna bring the snow towards the impeller and this one's angled that way and it's gonna bring it towards the impeller in all the years I've been working on snow blowers, I've never seen this problem. I've seen them switched, but I've never seen a snow blower come out of the factory uh, with the wrong parts like this. So um, I checked. I was thinking I could flip the shear pin possibly and, and spin it 180 degrees. That's not going to fix the problem. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to fix this thing by I'm, what I'm gonna do is pull this out and flip the auger I think it'll fix the problem I'm gonna have to redrill the hole because uh, the, the holes are actually offset on this thing so the first thing I need to do is separate the machine so on this unit there's there's three bolts on each side which I've loosened up I gotta take the belt off and the other thing I need to do is pull this pin out of here and these three bolts and that should separate the engine from the bucket. seized on there. I'm going to put a little penetrating oil up here. I don't want to pull these bolts out. Uh, hopefully the shaft will come out. I won't have to take out the bearing. The bearing looks to be in good shape and it wasn't making any noise. So really all I have to do is pull out the uh, bolts down here to release the ends that's holding in the auger. Okay, I got the uh, ends of the auger loose, so this whole thing should slip out. Uh, I'm just using a rubber mallet because I don't want to mushroom the end of the shaft, but we'll see if this will loosen up. Thank you. 
doesn't want to move. See if I can get it past this bearing. Man, is that thing on? I'm going to remove the bearing plate. I see the problem here. There's like a little lip that's worn into the shaft. So I'm gonna just try and get this uh, plate off. something maybe the bearing will just slide off gonna try and just tap the bearing down here that moved and now I can probably get in there and grind that with something well I'm gonna just try and hit it with a file it's not really that much material and I think I can just file it enough that I can get it off so I'll keep working on this okay so I got my bearing puller on here and there we go looks like it's moving nothing ever goes easy okay uh, now that I have the bearing at least moving freely I think what I want to do is, is put back on this bearing cover because this thing's going to be easier to put on now and then I'll slide the shaft through there and pull it out the way you're supposed to. Okay guys, I feel like I'm back to where I was. I got this plate on. These two nuts are tight. This one I got to hold the, the back, but I'll do that once I get the uh, auger out. But I'm, I, I lubed up this thing and I'm thinking it should just slip out now.
Okay guys, so I'm looking at the auger and I know that it spins this way and a little test you can do is put something in here and you'll see when the uh, auger spins it's going to draw the snow to the left in this case. So if I take my auger and we flip it over like this, you will find when the auger spins the same way it's going to spin, it's still going to draw the snow to the left. So that's why there's different part numbers for this auger and this auger. So uh, this is bad news for me, not really for you guys, but uh, you know, I'm kind of figuring this out the hard way. So what I got to do is I gotta buy a replacement auger. Um, I also took a look at this thing and noticed that the part number is exactly the same. So, shame on Sears for assembling this thing wrong. Let me show you that. Here's the augers that the machine um, came with. You can see that one says R4, and this one says R4 as well. So the unit had two right hand augers it's something I've never seen and uh, if you look it up in the book uh, I was checking out the pricing it's 160 bucks plus shipping to get the left hand auger so if anyone out there has an auger from a 24 inch snowblower it's an MTD uh, part um, so it's a Craftsman 24 inch. I think the diameter is nine and a half inches and the shaft size is three quarters. Anyhow, uh, I'll be making a follow up video once I get the right part for this thing. So thanks for watching guys. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Take care.